I'm Alexis Van Herkman, and welcome to Resolve in a Rush, where you'll learn DaVinci Resolve grading and finishing techniques in under five minutes. Here's a feature that audio professionals have been wanting for a while. If I go up to the View menu, I now have a checkbox option for Show Fixed Playhead. When I turn that on, nothing appears to change, but now if I use JKL to play us. through my project, I can see that I have the ability to have the timeline and all of its attendant tracks scrolling smoothly underneath. My name is Valerie the playhead. White. I can still move the playhead around to adjust if I want a little more space either behind or in front of the playhead but all of my playback controls now have the playhead fixed with the timeline scrolling by underneath. And this brings me to the next new feature, which is a Fairlight feature from Classic Fairlight that has been brought back, and these are the video and audio scrollers. So I'm going to go ahead and turn all of these on, just so you can see what they're all about. They're really cool and they'll help you with some precision work in the timeline. So the video scroller is basically just a film strip view of your program. I need your protection. And zoomed all the way in, it really helps you to see exactly which frame is at the current position of the playhead as you're moving around the timeline and looking for frames at which to make edits or cuts or other operations. So I can right click on this and choose different zoom levels, low, medium, or high. And at higher zoom levels, I basically just get this nice scrolling thumbnail view of my project. And these are called scrollers for a reason. I can just grab this scroller and move it left and right to scrub through the project. Now, the farther in I'm zoomed, the more precise I can scroll and scrub. So even if you're zoomed all the way out in your timeline, you still can use the scrollers to do precision work in the timeline. And by the way, you've got these audio scrollers as well. They are assignable. You can point them at a specific track of audio, and you've got two of them. So I can have this pointed at my production audio. I can have the second one pointed at the music. And so now, depending on what I want to grab and move through, I can go ahead and just scrub through. And it's just like grabbing a piece of tape and running it through a big tape machine, which... I thought I'd never have that experience again after the 90s. And here it is, digitally, on my desktop. It's, it's pretty exciting. So it may not seem like a big deal if you haven't done audio work before, but this is a really nice way to scroll through your project. And it looks cool, too. It's the next best thing to working on a flatbed.